Whoa. Hey, this is John from Rogue Mechanic. Hope you enjoyed this video. You would think that in 2022, you'd be able to buy pretty much any size cardboard box that would suit your needs for shipping. You can, if you order large quantities, but for smaller quantities, you need to get creative. I have a somewhat unique situation. Shipping bicycle rims outside of the contiguous United States is expensive. The difference of one inch in any dimension of the box can add at least $40. The cost of shipping a rim to Europe from the US using a box that is commonly made and cutting down the height or thickness to a minimum starts at around $95. On top of this, since all international boxes are laser scanned for dimensions, if any side of the box is a quarter of an inch over, it is rounded to the next inch which is usually an additional $40 or more. So in order to keep the shipping costs to a minimum, I make custom boxes. I do this so that ordering a rim from me outside of the US is more feasible for my customers. Yes, it takes a little more time, but I think it's worth it. Once I came up with the templates, it's relatively easy going. As you can see, I use two sheets of corrugated cardboard and after making several cuts, I form the sides of the top and the bottom halves. I know that there's probably a better design that I can come up with to make it easier for me to assemble, but this gets the job done. The goal of making these boxes is to protect the rim or rims during transport, and at the same time, keeping shipping costs to a minimum. Just to be safe, I make each of the dimensions a half an inch shorter to avoid any additional fees. I use the two larger cutoffs for making boxes to safely ship Mavic R2R spokes outside of the US and other shipping needs that I have. When I'm finished, the minimal amount of cardboard that I am not able to use gets recycled. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe.